he must feel blooded with the spirit of a god to sit opposite you and to listen and reply to your talk, your laughter, your touching, breath-held silences. But what I feel sitting here and watching you so stops my heart and binds my tongue that I can't think what I might say to breach the aerial around you there. It's as if someone with flint and stone had sparked a fire that kindled the flesh along my arms and smothered me in its smoke-blind rush. Paler than summer grass, it seems I am already dead, or a little short of dying.